to my channel data bi sql so in uh, today's video right uh, we will uh, solve a difficult uh, uh, question so kind of classify this as intermediate to advanced level question right i mean I are asked in uh, mostly in the senior data engineer interviews or senior technical architect or um, senior solutions architect right even senior bie uh, roles uh, uh, right i mean across and this can be asked across the fang companies uh, right i mean uh, facebook apple uh, amazon etc etc uh, microsoft right i mean so uh, let's go with the question today uh, the the reason why this is i classify this intermediate advanced because it involves the the joining of multiple tables okay and getting the columns from multiple tables right uh, and then uh, you know uh, joining it uh, getting in the data understanding the data right i mean you need to understand which columns you need to join which columns you need to multiply that's why it makes it a little bit of i would say complex i don't say it too complex for senior data engineer role but uh, if i were to say it for senior data analyst right i mean definitely it's a complex uh, i would classify it as complex based on the role what you are you are into right i mean this can be uh, i would say intermediate to complex question right so there uh, so so here the question find out top 3 customers by order amount okay so basically what they are saying is find out the top 3 right so basically they are asking you to use uh, um, certain functionality right to to get the top three right and then customers right so customers uh, 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 basically um, so when they say find out top three customers by order amount right by order amount means they want you to segregate the data they want you to uh, group the data uh, by customers right so that that's where you know you group by will come into picture right so just uh, divide the uh, question into multiple uh, you know uh, multiple i would say parts uh, and i have been always saying that if you looked at my other videos right multiple uh, divided into multiple parts that makes it very easy for you to understand the question and by order amount so order amount right uh, you need to check whether it is directly available or you need to uh, multiply multiple columns to get that data okay so uh, the uh, the tables here in question are uh, customers and if you have looked at my uh, other videos right of senior data engineers i have covered this the customers menus orders and reservations right these are the four four tables uh, out of that basically we need to use three of the tables okay and uh, we'll go through why we need to use three tables because you know there are different set of data that we need to pull from different tables so here customer table basically gives the pretty simple information customer first name last name email and phone right uh, then just look at it here customer id is the column right so if you were to uh, find out what orders customer placed right can you do it yes you can do it because customer id is present so you can join through customer id right and order id so order id and then it has menu id right and quantity so it has a quantity so what they have asked order amount uh, will quantity give you the order amount they're asking for? No, right? Only quantity is not enough, uh, uh, right? How much you paid for that particular menu, right? Is also matters, right? So basically, so how we will get that? Uh, in orders table, there's an order ID, right? Uh, customer ID and menu ID, right? So menu ID, see here, menu ID is there. So let's see in menu table what is there, right? Out of these three ID, there should be some, something in the menu table. So menu ID is there, right? So you can join menu ID okay in a menu table with a orders table okay now here do you have order amount no you have a price for the menu item but can you get an order amount yes how can you get an order amount price multiplied by the quantity right so if you order a garlic bread quantity 2 right then that means 599 to 2 is like uh, 11.98 right so that's how you can get an order amount but i would say confirm this uh, i mean this this definitely we know but if you uh, put in this kind of situation and ask the interviewer that price into quantity is order amount that that is what uh, you think logically it makes sense is that correct you can ask that question okay don't be shy ask ask that question to clarify interviewers like clarifying okay like you know just don't be afraid uh, just don't think that you know what interview will think it's not going to happen like that like they don't think like that i have conducted so many interviews uh, you know i really like asking the interviewee questions about uh, you know uh, the 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 problem we are asking them to solve 
okay so basically here what we need to do we need to bring in when to join three tables right then what we need to do we need to bring in the customer data which is basically first name and last name and then we need to do order amount by multiplying price and quantity okay and we need to sum it up okay the why we need to sum it up because one customer can always order multiple things right and here they are asking you to segregate the data by customer right so let's just get started so select from let's just jot down this tables okay so customers so let's just do alias right o oh. okay then you have orders right uh let's just say customers we can say c orders we can say o and menus we can say m okay and then what we saw is in customers table we we found first name and last name right so let's say c dot first name c dot last name right correct and then how do we join this table where c dot customer id is equal to which where we saw the customer id we saw customer id in orders table correct o dot customer id and so this has a menu id right so then o dot menu id is equal to m dot menu id right this will basically join all three tables right customer to order table and order to menu table that's how it's going to bridge the gap right it's going to join all three tables together right so now we need to find out final order right so we have c uh, we need to do sum right now we have m uh, m dot price correct and we need to multiply price by quantity correct quantity was there in a i think in a order table right if i am not mistaken quantity is there in a order table right so we can do o, o dot quantity right quantity into price right sum right as order amount correct so if we do this it's going to work it will work but since we are using aggregate function right we need to use group by right in sql right in group by because you're grouping by data of customer right okay let's see what this comes out with okay so you got area perez you got order amount right you got order amount for each of the customer now this is this sorted no so what you need to do order by then we say order by order amount and then we need to do descending the reason is descending because they are saying top 3 right top 3 if they said bottom 3 you need to find out bottom 3 in this case you don't need to put anything right it will sort the data in ascending order but in this case we need descending right so now you got the descending by order amount right so 80 dollars 43 dollars 3 dollars right so basically we got the customers highest order amount right and how many we need three first three right so there is a function called limit right we need to use limit 3 okay so it's not a function it's basically uh, uh there is functionality okay so when you show limit 3 you will get the data for first three orders okay you could use rank also in this case and i have covered rank in lot of my videos if you look at my amazon sql interviews series quest uh, playlist and uh, even data engineer playlist uh, i've made a couple of videos uh, the rank function is also used but in this case i wanted to use something else because i want to like educate you guys on different functionality within sql that's why i use sql uh, i'm sorry that's why i use limit okay so when you say limit 3 you can do limit 3 that means it will give you 
if you do four five it will give you five okay and you can do so on in this case it is limit three okay right so here we got i answer right so what we did is basically we brought we joined for three tables we got two that uh, and because we need to do group by sending because we the data or the first order amount we did limit the of three customers okay so, uh, you found this video very useful uh, you know definitely senior data analyst if you are prepared for that i would definitely do this question because you know complex level right uh, uh, you know they they can question by a couple of columns from different tables you join three tables right you want to join three tables understand the data without understanding data you will not be able to you know uh, figure out your job going to join three tables right so it's very important job of data analyst and senior data analyst, definitely this kind of questions will be asked in a uh, you know later stage of round to test your knowledge about advanced right? so senior data analyst business analyst right um interview question and uh, can basically uh, download or I would say I should, can uh, uh, get the uh, create uh, right uh, previous videos I'll try and put it uh, here as well right uh, but you can refer to uh, uh, some of the early, vi early videos where I put it but I'll try and put it in the description and the comments section right uh, complete scripts as well as you know data so basically once you run those scripts that i am you can create the directly and insert the data into the table you can play around with, with the query. okay thank you all right and uh, uh see you all in the next video